It's all packed. Scott's car, I'm taking that stuff to the trash, but I don't think we could fit anything more in there if we tried. Hello, good morning. Happy Thursday. I edited a vlog this morning. It's 10, a little before 10.30. I'm headed to the bank to figure out my pin situation with my debit card because I don't remember what it is. Like, I think it could be two things, but I don't like guessing because it's just like not good. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the bank and hopefully they'll let me guess there. So it's less embarrassing than at a store. Um, so I can get that squared away because if we're like on the road and I need to get out cash or something, I just now I need two banks, but all my, my cash is in this bank. So I need to know how to access said cash at like an ATM. You can't just press enter at an ATM and like they give you money. You know what I mean? So I need to figure, I need to figure that out. Um, and I'm like 99% sure I know what it is. No, I'm not. I'm like 50, 50 on these two things that it could be, but I don't want them to like have to just change it. I want to guess. So hopefully Chase will let me guess my own <laughs> but anyway let's go handle that and um get it together oh my god the other day I was the other day last night I was googling the closest Costco to where we are in Dallas to determine if I'm gonna keep my membership or if I'm gonna go to Sam's Club because there is a Sam's Club like walking distance from our place in Dallas and like lower Greenville but um Costco's gas prices a whole doll hair cheaper a gallon like more than a dollar cheaper a gallon than here I mean, the gas is cheap here. It's like under under four dollars. It's like three something, three either three twenty or three eighty. I can't remember. Dallas is like two eighty something or something. I don't remember. But the gas at like the normal four twenty to four fifty, gross. But I, listen, I remember when we first moved here, it was like I want to say five. Um, but that just like shows you the cost of living and how much more expensive it is here. It is pretty astronomical um the cost and I realized grocery tax is not just two percent it's 2.5 or 2.25 percent gross speaking of the devil yeah you see that 429 and that's probably with cash or some crap okay I feel like I'm wrong I'll tell more in a second <laughs> so I'm driving here and I'm like let's just look in your app okay let's just look in your app see or not your app your notes app because yes you know i do put all of my stuff in my notes app okay sue me i'm probably not the only person who does that second of all i have it connected to my computer so if my phone gets stolen that's the first thing i'm deleting okay so like don't worry don't be concerned for me slash if you don't where do you how, is it all up in there what if amnesia happens yo knows that anyway so i find it in the section where it should be right <sighs> oh mess you guys so then i go in there and i'm just like i just need to make she's like yeah just go to the atm and just like ask like check balance sure as heck it's the exact same pin that i had written down in my phone wasting my life it's fine my vlog was editing or exporting and i couldn't edit until then anyways excuse my appearance i look like a eggy headed roll right now <laughs> like what are these anyway I am in the thick of unpacking. It's Thursday, we... Oh, hold on, my battery's dead. That's what I was saying. It's Thursday, we moved. We got here on Monday night, stayed at Scott's mom's. Tuesday, the movers came to move all our stuff. Scott is seriously super injured. Um, his back is... There goes the air. So messed up. Um, so it's been me unpacking most of it. And he's resting, but he took Arlo to his mom's house over in like Arlington, Fort Worth area, whatever. Uh, and she's going to keep him until we have a party there on Saturday. So he can get some stuff done because it's just been hard for him. He's just, like I can tell he's just like over it. Like he's just over it. Like he wants to be entertained. Uh, and I'm just like, I want to be unpacked. So anyway, I figured I'd give you a little tour i mean welcome back to dallas if you remember my blue wall is still there um uh, so this is our bed delightful if i'm started unpacking my closet i have more ass hooks coming um 
I've got a lot done. This is where my desk is gonna go in here since I don't have an office anymore, which kind of sucks. But honestly, you guys, I like low-key love this place. I low-key, I love this place. I just wish it was like, this much bigger and we'd stay here forever. Um, bathroom's completely unpacked. Uh, I've got everything kind of organized. Um, and doo -doo. I have, downstairs looks like a hot ass mess, but some more boxes over here. This is Arlo's room, which is slowly coming together. These need to go out in the garage. Um, but his dresser, I'm gonna keep my stuff in it still, but it's gonna stay in his room. I set up his bed yesterday all by myself. This was, many swear words were said while this was being put together. This is his little bookshelf. Um, was, Scott made those shelves back when I was still in my tummy. Um, little bins for his clothes. That's that. Um, this will also be my, mine. Um, so I have all of my, like, extra beauty products and such up there. I need to go through all that. I was in the process of this. But I set up my clothing rack today. So it's gonna be stored in here. I set up this, which was in my old closet for shoes. I still have more clothes to hang up and whatnot, but this will be my spare closet, which is extra, which is bigger than my other one. So that's quite nice. Um, what else? What else? I guess we can take a trip downstairs. Um, ow! These need to go out in the garage. The garage is the best right now. Um, this is what we're looking like. Basically set up the exact same way that our place was last time. Um, so we got the TV on the wall, all this stuff done. I mean, these are just all empty boxes. We're going to save them because, like I said, we're going to be moving again. And I don't want to buy boxes again, so I'm saving those. Um, this is just the sound system that needs to be set up. I think in the kitchen's still kind of a disaster. Um, pantry I put together. Most of it is kind of coming together. I need to do like a lot of groceries, but I figured I'll get through 4th of July weekend before I start doing that. Um, but I got all the kitchen. The kitchen's all put together. Silverware and this. And then this is the little, like my little ruggable rug, which I love here. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but it still works. Um, bookshelves back up here. Basically everything is the exact same as last time, so. Yeah, this is where we're at. And then downstairs still a mesh, but uh, yeah, I can't believe we're back in Dallas. It is oh, oh, lighting. hot as heck. Um, there's no lighting because I need to get, I just ordered replacement bulbs for those. Um, yeah, we're back in Dallas, you guys. It's kind of crazy to believe. I did a Target run today, but that's the only time I've like left the house. Actually, no, on Tuesday night, we went and got sushi um, in Lower Greenville. Uh, Kayo, 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 I believe this place. It was okay, it was pretty good. Um, we went there with a friend, and then tonight, I think we're either gonna get Pie Tap delivered or go, or not go somewhere, because I, I ain't going nowhere, okay? I, I was just on the phone with my brother, and my brother's like, you've yawned like 50 times on this phone call, and I'm like, I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, but we're either gonna do that or try this like ghost kitchen type thing, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's been interesting moving back in. It's been easy, because we like can just unload everything in the same place as last time. Um, Arlo doesn't remember this place at all. Um, he's like constantly looking for the balcony and going into the bathroom. So he has zero recolle recollection of two years ago. So uh, yeah, but anyway, that is where we're at in life. And um, I'm tired, so tired. So I think I'm gonna wrap up my day. I've got all day tomorrow to get more stuff done without having to like entertain Arlo as well, so that's good. So hopefully I can get some get some stuff done. Um, but I need to like kind of get a good stopping point. It is 6.30 and I've been going since like probably nine this morning. <laughs> so needless to say, I'm done, I'm done, I'm tired, very tired. Hello, good morning. <laughs> Happy Monday. Um, it's our first week back into the swing of things. Um, 
I am sitting, I, I showed you all the desk set up in the, um, in our bedroom. Um, but yeah, we had an eventful weekend. I think I last showed you stuff on, what was it? I don't remember what day I filmed, probably Thursday or something. Maybe Friday. Um, but yeah, we have pretty much everything unpacked, which is awesome. Um, I have a couple last things to set up and we have like light bulbs coming in the mail to like replace the can lights in our, like just the ones that are out. Um, so I wanna get that done when those come today. I have to, um, it's like annoying, I guess. I, an Amazon package couldn't get delivered so I have to go pick it up. So I'm probably gonna do that pretty soon since it's kind of dreary. You can't tell because I'm in front of a bright window, but it's like rainy and dreary out today, um, which is not conducive to filming. So we're gonna see how that goes. Um, I might just do a vlog today, I haven't decided. Um, but I have to go to this post office in like the middle of nowhere to pick up Arlo's little like table. I had to order him a new like table to eat at because ours was just trash and we had zero room. Zero room. Um, I didn't show you any of that, but you guys like we had the, the U-Haul stuffed and then we had Scott's car stuffed that he was trailering behind and then we had my car stuffed. So everything went really smooth on the way. Scott still broke his phone though, ran over his phone when we got to Dallas, so that was fun. Um, anyway, I on Saturday we went over to um, Scott's mom's house. He had like a she had like a pool party um, with all Scott's siblings. Like his brother and the, his family came in from Austin, and then um, his other brother and sister came as well. So. Mmm, that first sip of a latte, yeah. Um, so I went on Saturday, Sunday, did some more unpacking and set up Scott's desk. Scott's back is just so messed up. He can barely even like walk at this point. It's horrible. So I've packed everything myself um, while he was just like icing slash entertaining Arlo. Uh, so they went golfing while I did some more stuff yesterday. Not golfing, like took Arlo to the golf course. And then um, I got everything else unpacked and I have one box left that's in all this room that I need to unpack, but we made some serious progress. What I wanted to get done, got done. So I'm really happy about that. And all my plants did pretty well. I mean, you can't tell because Scott brought that speaker up. Um, but my money plant looks a little, a little iffy, but she's gonna be fine. They always th thrive through anything. Um, what else? So I need to go pick up that table. I would would like to do a Costco run at some point. And I'm just trying to get this all done because Tuesday through Thursday, um, I'm gonna be dog sitting a friend's dog that is also dog sitting someone else. It's nuts. Anyway, I'm so excited though. Literally my heart, like every moment I just start smiling because I'm so excited. He's a giant pit bull, but he's the most friendly guy in the world. Like he was raised with, um, they, before they moved uh, to South Africa, they had, uh, they had two young kids. So, um, he's so sweet and like really well behaved. He's just huge. Like his head's the size of my head. So I'm so excited to spend, um, uh, a couple days with him while our friend is, uh, in Oklahoma. So I'm like so excited, but I just want to like make sure I have all the time to like spend with him. I don't want to have to like leave the house if I don't have to, you know what I mean? Um, and I can't bring him with him because it's, A, it's boiling outside. And um, B, I feel like he would destroy my car. He probably weighs the same amount that I weigh. I'm not kidding, he's huge. I'll show you him, he's so cute though. Anyway, I'm just excited to have a dog back in my life, if you cannot tell. Um, so yeah, I think that's what we're gonna get up to today. I did plan a fashion channel video, um, but the weather, like I, this is what it looks like. It's just not well, so we'll see. I mean, it's only, it's not even nine o'clock yet. So we'll see how the morning turns out, but I need to get back into it. I've been on vacay mode for, past like three weeks moving so 
Hi, welcome back. I would like to get a vlog up today, so we'll see. We'll see what, I don't even think I have any footage. Um, but let's check when the post office opens and head over and get that, get that table. So yeah, happy Monday and happy back to Dallas. Honestly, I am not even gonna lie, I miss this place. I missed this house more than I missed Dallas. Just because like, I don't know, this was our home, you know? It's where we brought Arlo home to. But it is super weird not having Winnie here because Winnie was here with me the whole time. So I think that's why I'm also like really missing a doggy. Mostly my wrinkles, very much. Let's go get this table, but I figured I'd do a little update since <laughs> I was just editing back my last vlog and it looked a mess. I mean, the bed's still a mess, not really. It's just Scott's shit. Anyway, I don't know what to do with this plant. I need to find a different base pot for it, but that's the closets all done. I put my big gold mirror here. Um, this was done until Scott decided to move these speakers up here. My desk, bathroom. This is the one box that I still have. I need this because I need to replace some bulbs, but I just put this here. Um, this is the one box I still have to undo, but Arlo's bathroom is done. Took a bath last night. I have to put this stuff away too. It's not completely done, but I decorated all the shelves. Let's go get our table from UPS, USPS really quick. They're mowing lawn and it's raining. Sounds unwell. Scott's on a call, but. It's getting better. It smells like pine sole in my car. And I don't know why. I mean, it's not a bad smell, it's just a smell that I like can't figure out why it's smelling like that. It's just weird. I really need to wash my car, but we can't park in the garage right now because we're, that, that place is a disaster and probably will be for a while. So I am thankful that it is not 100 degrees out right now. No, Morgan will win, no. So, let's go. Restricted or private roads? I don't even know what that means. I need to go to the postal. So let's run over to the postal. It's only like 10 minutes away. I think it's downtown in the middle of nowhere, which I hate that for me. Hold on. All right, get your life together, camera. It's not letting. Um, That way, mm -hmm. I don't have to leave the house again. So, <laughs> I've just been chronically exhausted from all the cr moving, like just exhausted. So, oh, mm, what are you doing, sir, 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 ma'am, 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 ma'am? Most of our neighbors that we had when we lived here moved. <sighs> they. Two of them are the same. Three of them are the same. Well, a lot of them are not like the original owners, though. Um, I feel like there's only two original owners here that were like the OGG. Scott is one of them. I'm sorry, sir, 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 sir. Um, they really are mowing the lawns. And our yards are like so small that they don't, they just use weed whackers to mow them. <laughs> oh, I think I needed to go that way. Such is life. Um, anyway, let's get this done. Because Arlo, poor Arlo's had to be eating on a coffee table because we don't have a little table for him. Not that we have the room. I love that house. Not that we have the room to um to really have anything else in our living room because it, it is stuffed to the brim. But there's something so, like, cozy about a small home. I don't know what it is, but it, I feel more comfortable and cozy in this house than in the Schomburg house, which is kind of weird. I only lived here an extra year more than the previous. What 
and the shoe is going on. There's a man carrying a Yoshi and then one carrying a microwave. The city's a wild place. It's a wild place out here. <laughs> um, our neighbor, our neighborhood is very, it's, it's in the process of gentrification, gentrifying, if you will. Um, so there's still, still a mix. There is so much changed in this city in the past two years. It's crazy. <sighs> but anyway, um, we dropped all off at school today and it was a mix. He definitely doesn't remember anything, but I do want to look for September um, for an actual school for him. It's just a small little school, which I don't have a problem with. I like that it's small, but um, I want to look into getting him into an actual like public school. Um, I want to look around and see and view, view my options because we live in the city, so I don't necessarily want him going to like an inner city kind of school. I don't know, I, I didn't grow up like that. I just, it makes me nervous. I want to tour, I want to see some things, but. Anyway, I also got a um, appointment for my old hair lady. I'm so happy she's still doing hair. My hair in Dallas was my favorite. Like I loved how my hair was, was done in Dallas. She's just so good. Um, she's changed locations again, but I like randomly texted her number and she's still here and she has her own salon now. Um, just made me think of it because I feel like it's like right around here. I think it's off the Haskell. But um, I'm very excited to have her. I like realize my hair isn't really that bad, but I would like to just get a fresh set of highlights and it needs like a tone. So um, I'm doing that towards the end of the month. I mean, July 19th at this point, which is not the end of the month. I mean, we're, what is today, the 8th? It's in 10 days? Oh my God. Where is the summer going? It's okay, I'm ready for fall because it's hot as balls here. So anyway, yeah. I can't believe we're here, you guys. I keep saying that, I know, but it's it's true, I really can't believe it. We're best past the hospital that I gave birth in. And oh, just having me back here, I want another baby. Who had a baby? Seriously though, I, I, we bought Scott's mom one of those like aura frames. Um, you know, the digital picture frames and seeing all the pictures of him as a baby, because he spent so much time with her as a baby because she just watched them all the time and she will be again, which is oh, amazing. 10 out of 10, do not recommend moving away from family if they want to watch your child. Don't do it. If, I mean, you have a good relationship with your family, but anyway, um, seeing him and his little egg-headed baby face, oh, the blow twofers, <laughs> I want another baby. But I also don't want to be pregnant, so, you know, such is life. <laughs> Let's... Oh, let's get this table. I hope it stops raining and stop being so dreary because I would like to film today. I want to stay on my schedule, but I don't know. Maybe I could use today. I also really need to get my car inspected because I need to register my vehicle. That ends at the end of the month. I could go do that, like silly things that need to be done. I mean, there's so many little state inspections. You don't even need to make an appointment, right? You just go. Making me crazy, tell me, baby, all you think about me. Um, if you're in the Dallas area and you've never eaten at this place called Petra and the Beast, they changed their location. They used to be on Pascal, just past Gaston, um, in like this old grocery st or um, gas station. It's my favorite restaurant. Um, but now they are in Lakewood, I believe. But so incredible. Like very unique, good flavors, like amazing presentation, but pretty affordable prices. I've, I've gone to their new location. I went in Christmas um, with a girlfriend, but uh, we need to go there with Scott again very soon. So anyway. I'm just reminded because we're about to pass the old location, which the old location was really cool and it was BYOB so you could bring your own bottle of wine. We would go there sometimes like before going to pick up Arlo or whatever. It was, it was pretty cool. Oh, I think they knocked it down. Oh, okay. They're building something new now. Oh, no, wait. Is it right there? 
yeah, I think that was it. I could be wrong. Oh, that's Spanish World School. I want to look at that place. Is that like the replacement of Spanish House? Yeah, I think they knocked down the old Petra and the Beast. Interesting. Anyway, anyway, I've been just blabbing for however long I've been blabbing for. It's been a minute. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a hot minute. I, I missed you guys. So I'll pick up with you probably when I'm building our last table a little bit later. All right, that took a while. Um, <laughs> She came out with this tiny box. First of all, she's like, it's gonna be re-delivered today. And I was like, well, I'm already here. If it's not on the truck, can I just take it? And she was like, yeah. And then um, she came out with this little box um, that funny enough came from Elk Grove, like village in Schaumburg. Well, in Elk Grove, right next to us. <laughs> anyway, those are our lights for um, like our can lights that I ordered off of Walmart, which I'm so nervous because that's the only place I could find these light bulbs. And we have probably like, 50 of these light bulbs in our house and they're probably all gonna start going out soon. So we've had the place for five years. So I'm like, um, I ordered four even though we needed three, but that's all they had was four. So anyway, um, I was like, I don't think that's the right box. And she checked the tracking again and it wasn't. So then she went back and got my table. I'm like, that's supposed to be a child's table. And she's like, I don't know. And I'm like, okay, well, I know that that's not the right thing. So let's, uh, Let's do that again. She's like, oh yeah, that wouldn't have been delivered. It's oversized. And I'm like, okay, good. Glad that I don't have to come back out to Fair Park again because this place is a little bit sketchy. Anyway, um, got what I needed. Got my table and my lights. So I can replace my lights today and I can build Arlo's little table. And then Scott also ordered, I call it his old man bench for his for our bathrooms so we can sit down in the shower and wash his legs because he is so just like crippled i'm like do you need a hand bar as well uh it's like you're a jerk so, so i'm probably gonna build that as well i think the state fair is gonna be soon right isn't it in the summer or is it in the fall i don't actually know but that's over here at fair park um so yeah, this place is just um, not a great area to be in, not gonna lie. So let's get home and put some stuff together, I guess. It does look like the clouds might be breaking up a bit, which is good for the fact that I would like to film. Oh, are you gonna go across the street right now? Oh ma'am, run. I'm done. <laughs> some bowls. I need to replace this one and that one. Over there. Let's just go grab my ladder, please. I'm done. 